United States, a day on which we honor the men and women who served and fought in wars to defend our country so the rest of us can fight on Facebook, and uh, we thank them for their sacrifice. Well, by the way, one of our writers here at the show has a brother who's stationed overseas in Germany. He's a lieutenant colonel in the Army, and he and his wife had a baby girl last week, which was exciting. Congratulations to them. And since he's an American citizen on a military base, he had to report the birth of his daughter to the U.S. Embassy in Germany, and when he went to the website to do that, this is what he found found one button that says, I would like to report a birth abroad, and an identical button, right, that says, I would like to renounce my U.S. citizenship, right there next to each other. Yeah. One too many Lowen brows, you could accidentally become a German citizen. <laughs> Someone might want to get on that. President Biden paid his respects at Arlington National Cemetery today. He said, our nation's veterans are the spine of America, and our former president weighed in to salute the troops with a video message, too. On this Veterans Day, I'd like to pay tribute to all of those incredible people, and you are indeed incredible people, who serve so well and so strong and so powerfully in the United States Armed Forces. This has been a message from Captain Bone Spurs. Thank you for your room service. The, um, the infamous uh, insurrectionist known as the QAnon shaman is probably not going to be storming anything anytime soon. Prosecutors argue that Jacob Chansley should be imprisoned for more than four years because of the grave danger to democracy posed by the violent breach of the Capitol. The severity of his actions and respect for the laws of this country, the memo says, must be impressed upon Chansley and serve as a deterrent to others. Chansley's lawyer topped their sentencing memo with a quotation from the movie Forrest Gump. My mama always said, you've got to put the past behind you before you can move on. Yeah. I think the more appropriate quote from that movie would be stupid as a stupid does, but he will, I guess he'll have the chance to put that behind him because prosecutors are recommending 51 months behind bars, after which he will be remanded into the custody of Dancing with the Stars. Um, <laughs> weird to think the QAnon shaman could get four years in prison when the guy who encouraged him to do it could get four more years in the White House. But And also, can we stop calling him a shaman now? I mean, that would make half the fans at the Buffalo Bills game shamans, too. It's, <laughs> the incarcerations are, are adding up. A former MMA fighter who punched a Capitol Police officer just got hit with a 41-month sentence. I looked this guy up. His nickname's Wild Man. It's Scott Fairlam is his name. He's only had one loss in his career. Unfortunately, he also only had one match in his career. He, uh, <laughs> in MMA, they call that a no Rogan experience. So. <laughs> He's one of the QAnons who believe Donald Trump is going to get sworn in again on March 4th and everybody else would be arrested. You know, it's rare that a headline uh, that starts with ex-MMA fighter ends on a positive. It's almost never ex-MMA fighter finds happiness running a daycare for underprivileged <laughs> kids. It's, it's always like ex-MMA fighter puts his mom in coma or something. <laughs> we aren't the only country with troubles. Uh, there are, in New Zealand, an angry mob gathered outside Parliament to protest government vaccine mandates there. Protesters tearing through the barricades on the front steps, raising fears reminiscent of the US Capitol riots. But then, because it's not the States, it's New Zealand, they politely put them back up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. I guess we're like the animals of the world. <laughs> you know, in a stadium, there's always one section of the drunk, unruly fans? That's us in the world. <laughs> in Texas, a federal judge yesterday overturned the governor's ban on mask ma mandates in schools there. Governor Abbott of Texas has been a fierce critic of the mask mandates. He's worried that if everybody's wearing a mask, it'll be harder uh, to narc on them for getting abortions. So it's, but masks are about as controversial as it gets right now in Texas. Not everyone is against them, though. There are many who believe that making children wear masks is a small price to pay for keeping them safe, for keeping us safe, and including this famous Texas icon. Howdy, folks. It's me, Leatherface, here to urge all Texans to support mask wearing. Masks have been a tradition here in the Lone Star State since the days of the Lone Ranger. I myself could never have enjoyed massacring so many of my fellow Texans without my trusty mask. So before you send your kids off to school, be sure they're protected with a mask. Bye, Dad. 
Hold on there, sport. You forgetting something? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Kids, remember, don't be an ass. Wear a mask. And I hope you get in This has been a message from the Texas Department of Public Health. You know, and he may be a psychopath, but he's not an idiot. Earlier this week, um, speaking of idiots, we heard, earlier this week, we heard from Congress woman Lauren Boebert of Colorado. This is a woman who wears glasses to make it seem like she can read. She is <laughs> apparently not a fan of, of me or our show because over the weekend, she tweeted a clip from our monologue with the message, good morning, Jimmy Kimmel is a sexist pig. Have a great day. <laughs> Which is rude, it's very rude. All I did was say her videos reminded me of stepmother porn and <laughs> Which was obvious, I thought, was obviously a joke. I mean, her videos are so much dumber than stepmother porn, but some of these videos she makes are so unbelievably over the top, it's hard to believe this person exists. They seem like sketches from Saturday Night Live, so much so that we went out on the street and we showed some people passing by clips of her actual videos. These are her videos. We told them they were from Saturday Night Live last weekend and asked if they thought SNL had been too mean, and wouldn't you know it, we found all sorts of people who thought her real videos were written comedy bits. We need a full investigation into just how many puppies were eaten alive on Fauci's watch. I think it was, I think it was a good skit. The look, the hair, the voice was perfect. Yeah, almost real. Almost real, exactly. I want old Uncle Joe to have as much time at the beach as possible. In fact, my impeachment articles would totally free up his schedule. Yeah, I mean, it's over the top, but that's what SNL is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a little, you know, to make the point. I like the actress. She's really pretty. She actually looks familiar. I was trying to figure out who she was. How do you think Lauren Boebert would feel seeing that sketch? I, I think she would feel like it was too far and be offended by it. If you're a public figure, you kind of have to expect that type of stuff. But it wasn't tasteful. I delivered one of my children in the front seat of my truck. Because as a mom of four, we got things to do. Ain't nobody got time for two and a half months of maternity leave. Are you embarrassed to see Hollywood portray a, a congresswoman this way? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm very disappointed to see that. that that's how they betray one. Oh, yes. That was obviously scripted by whatever directors did all that, but I feel like the real Lauren would actually be like a little upset about that. She has family, she has kids, she has other people who ha would have to see that, and it's embarrassing for her, it's embarrassing for the country to see. They did go too far, they did go too far with this one. Now what if I told you that this is really Lauren Boebert? Seriously? It wasn't comedy at all, right? Like, she didn't mean it as a comedy. Oh, wow. So she really said that? She really said that. Okay, that's, that's interesting. That almost seemed like a comedy skit, but not that funny. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I couldn't possibly agree more. All right. One more thing, and it's Thursday night, and that means it's time to bleep and blur the big TV moments of the week. Whether they need it or not, it is this week in Unnecessary Censorship. When I first went to Beijing to meet with Xi Jinping, he put me out on a basketball court. Up front next, six top Trump associates hit with subpoenas for their role in Trump's big <laughs> But will they cooperate? Images of the start creeping into my dreams. <laughs> I Hillary Clinton in debate prep. You want the videos of that, believe me. Well, it's definitely a Monday for me. I just all over myself, lost the jacket. There's an elderly man in the jail whose hand is purple and his is black, and they begged me to him. I wasted at least two hours a day of my life tossing and turning, trying to my Why I love you, but Mr. Wonderful, I'm gonna your oh! Keep wearing your mask around lots of people, and also make sure you keep washing your regularly. Elmo, Elmo will wear his mask and wash his That's great, Elmo. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Oh, oh.